What's up guys? Carlos here. I apologize for the lack of edition this video has. I did my best to release this video as soon as possible just because of how excited I was with this announcement. Yesterday, the user T Times Books on Twitter revealed he finished translating Shin Megami Tensei DX to English. An announcement that took everyone by surprise. For those who don't know what this game is, Shin Megami Tensei DX is a remake of Shin Megami Tensei 1 made by fans, featuring new content that changed the way to play the original game. If you know me well, you know Shin Megami Tensei 1 is my favorite Mega Ten of all time, so I had to give this game a try after some of you told me this is the definitive way to experience this masterpiece. After playing of the reaching the point where Cerberus is accidentally teleported to another place, here are my first impressions of Shin Megami Tensei VX. Small creation, this is not an honest verdict video. I can't make a video of that format until I finish the game, and I still have a long way to go. Anyways, now just sit down and relax, because today I'll fucking convince you to play SMT1. First of all, it's important to say that this game was recreated in RPG Maker VX, an engine that helps you to develop your own video game. So if you're expecting a video game with the same quality as a modern SMT game, sorry, you won't see something like that here. Shin Megami Tensei VX is a remake of Shin Megami Tensei 1, specifically the Super Famicom version, which means it still has the dungeon crawler gameplay that all of us love. But in this fan game, the gameplay is faster. Not as fast as the PS1 version, but it's fast enough to remain enjoyable. Visually speaking, it looks identical to the Super Famicom version, but with some slight changes that make RPG Maker look so... RPG Maker. A change that you will notice while exploring the menus. I've just talked about how this game plays and looks, but you may be wondering, what's the difference between this remake and the original SMT1? Well, Prepare yourself because there are a lot of changes that are definitely worth discussing about. The change, or rather, addition that most of us are talking of right now is the addition of more characters to the story. Shin Megami Tensei VX did something that the original game never tried to do. It makes Yuriko a playable character. If you haven't played SMT1, I won't tell you who she is. But long story short, she wasn't a character with that much screen time. But on this occasion, the number of interactions you have with her is simply great and fun to say the least. SMTBX also features a new character called Yumiko, a law heroine. A character that I still don't know much about because I haven't met her in the two hours of playthrough I put into this game last night. What is interesting about Yuriko and Yumiko is that if you tag with one of them and let them join your party alongside Yuji or Takeshi, you will be forced to stay with her until the end of the game. Because this game not only features these new playable characters, it also has new and original endings. In this game, you can still get the classic law, neutral and chaos endings, but there are 5 more endings to unlock. If you don't want spoilers, skip to the menu that appears on the screen right now. These endings are Yumiko's Law Ending. If you let her join your party, you will have the messiahs and experience what heaven looks like. Yuriko's Chaos Ending. If you allow her to join your party, you will go to the expanse with her, presenting you with a new perspective of the Chaos Road. Betrayal Ending. In the cathedral, you will have the option to betray Yumiko or Yuriko. If you betray your female partner, a new neutral ending will be unlocked once you defeat the final boss. Friendship Ending. If you refuse both Yumiko and Yuriko early on, you have the option to recruit Law Hero and Chaos Hero to confront the new final boss. And of course, see a new ending where your friends are still alive. And finally, the most brutal one, Overlord Ending. If you refuse Yumiko, Yuriko and Yuka, you will send to the Expanse alone, forcing you to go through an extremely difficult path alongside your demons to become the ruler of the entire world. Just reading these endings motivates any SMT1 fan to replay this game for how different these new endings are from one another. Fortunately for us, the gameplay also receives some noticeable changes. Now, your demons will level up, learning new skills. You can give your demons new spells through an exclusive shop from this game. You can change your melee or firearm weapons during mid-fight. The amount of skills, demons and magic spells has been increased. You can choose how often the random encounters will be at the beginning of the game. 
and now you can change formation just like in Devil Summoner and Soul Hackers. Unfortunately, with these additions, it also came a big consequence. Most of the things that made Shin Megami Tensei 1 broken are no longer exploitable. Zio and Bufu no longer have a guaranteed paralyze or freeze effect, guns now consume ammunition, the enemy's magic power was increased, forcing you to invest some of your level up points into intelligence, otherwise Kazuya will get one shot in almost every random encounter. And of course, we can't forget what, in my opinion, is the most fascinating change, the game's difficulty. Shin Megami Tensei 1 was easy as fuck, but in this remake, the developers put their blood, sweat and tears to make the experience as difficult as possible. I'm not fucking joking. Before facing the boss inside the hospital, I died more than 12 times by only random encounters. This is not a joke. This game is actually hard now. Which for me is excellent. I finished SMT1 in 5 different platforms and I wanted a real challenge to test my love and dedication for this game. Let's just say that I was finally able to convince you to play this masterpiece. Now, how can you install it on your PC? Don't worry, I'll show you how. First, go to t -Times Books Twitter and find this post. If you do this, please let him know I was the one who sent you there. In that post, there is a link from Google Drive where you can download this game. Next, you're gonna need two things. One is called RPG Maker VX RTP, which can be found on the RPG Maker page. Download it and install it. The next and last thing is downloading a file named rgss212.dl. Both files will be in the description, by the way. Download it and put it inside the System32 file, or SYS WoW64 if your computer has 64 bits. Once you made all of that noises, you are ready to enjoy this game. Oh, and if one last two tips. If you want to play this game in full screen mode, hold Alt and press Enter. And finally, one last thing that I was forgetting and I'm not reading the script right now is if you want to change the button layout, press F1. And I guess you can play this game with a controller, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you can if you change the button layout. I really don't know. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this game. It's definitely a game that everyone should try after finishing the original SMT1 in any of these ports. Yes, this remake made by a dedicated group of fans is fucking awesome. But I highly recommend you to experience the original game first just to compare how different they are from one another. Again, I'm sorry for not putting too much effort into this video. I still wanted to show you why you must give this fan game a try. This is an excellent way to experience Shin Megami Tensei 1. Now, I'll go back to work on the script of the every canon name for every Megaten protagonist. I'll see you in the next month. Goodbye!